morning, everyone. This is a mini lecture on the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem is only for right triangles, only right triangles. And the actual formula is hypotenuse squared equals leg squared plus leg squared. So actually what it's saying is that the hypotenuse, which is the longest side, raise that to the second power, is equal to one of the sides raised to the second power plus the other side raised to the second power. Usually you may see it as the hypotenuse is given as side C to the second power and one of the legs will be a to the second power and the other leg of the triangle will be b to the second power so c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared and remembering that this theorem this formula only applies to right triangles we have a right triangle shown so the hypotenuse is always the longest side so this side would be the hypotenuse. As you can see, the hypotenuse, the key way to know which one it is, it's always opposite of the right triangle. It's always opposite of the right triangle. The legs are the other two sides. So we have a leg right there, and then we have a leg right there. And again, Sometimes in some books you may see the actual formula c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Well, the hypotenuse is the c, and the legs are the a and the b, and it doesn't really matter which one you name a and which one you name b. They're interchangeable. But the hypotenuse is always the longest side, and it's always the side that's opposite of the right angle. Our example here says to find the missing side. This is a right triangle. I know that from the red half square that I see in the corner. And the question mark side looks to be the hypotenuse because it's opposite of the right angle. The other two sides, the four centimeters and three centimeters are the legs, right? Leg and leg. And we said then this is the hypotenuse that we're trying to find. So we stated a few moments ago that the formula is hypotenuse squared equals leg squared plus leg squared. So we don't know what the hypotenuse is. That's what we're trying to find. So we don't substitute anything for that. But we do know that one of the legs is 4 centimeters. So I'll make it 4 to the second power, and the other leg is 3 centimeters. So this will be 3 to the second power. So 4 to the second power is 16, 3 to the second power is 9. And we get 16 plus 9 is 25. The next thing you have to do is actually take the square root of both sides. When we take the square root of something raised to the second power, then the square root symbol and the second power, they're inverses, so they somewhat cancel each other out. And now you're just left with the right-hand side, which is the square root of 25. So before this lesson, you probably already looked at perfect square roots. The square root of 25, we find that because we're saying, we're saying to ourselves, what number times itself will make 25? And that answer is 5. So the hypotenuse is 5 centimeters. In this example, we're asked to find the unknown length in the right triangle. Well, we already knew it was a right triangle based on the red half square that's placed in the triangle. So we look at this, and we know that the missing side is the hypotenuse, because we said that the hypotenuse is always the side that's opposite, opposite of the right angle. 
the other two sides are the legs. Since we know this information about the two sides being the legs and the opposite side of the right angle being the hypotenuse, we can go ahead and apply the formula. Remember, if you want to, you can use the actual letters that some textbooks use. C for hypotenuse and A and B for leg. So you would see C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. This is an alternative formula which most textbooks use. C is the hypotenuse, A is the leg, and B is the leg. So the hypotenuse is the unknown. So it's the question mark. Or you can use a variable such as x if you prefer. Or you could use the word hypotenuse. One leg is 12 inches, so we square it according to the formula. Another leg is 5 inches, and we square that according to the formula. So we get question mark, or hypotenuse squared, is equal to 12 squared is 144, plus 5 squared is 25. So, 144 plus 25 gets us 169. And after you add the two legs together, after you add the two um, legs together that you have squared already, the last step is to take the square root of both sides. The square root of both sides. This will be known as the square root property if you've already taken algebra or as you get to algebra and you take the square root of both sides it's the square root property when you apply the square root property the square root symbol and what you square somewhat cancel out and you get the question mark or variable or the word hypotenuse is equal to and the square root of 169 you're just saying to yourself what times itself is equal to 169 so you would say 13, right? 13 times 13 is 169. So the hypotenuse, or the missing side, is 13, and the units are inches. Sometimes in problems, you're not always asked to find the hypotenuse. There may be a time that they give you the measure of a leg and the hypotenuse, and you have to find the measure of the missing leg. To find the missing leg, you would use leg squared equals hypotenuse squared minus leg squared. So see the difference in the formula. Leg squared equals hypotenuse squared minus leg squared. The example at the bottom says to find the missing side. It looks to be 7 centimeters for a leg and 25 centimeters for the hypotenuse because we said that the hypotenuse is the longest side and it's also opposite of the right angle. So we have the hypotenuse and a leg. Remember, to find the missing leg, there's a change in the formula. Leg squared equals hypotenuse squared minus leg squared. So we don't know the other leg here. So we'll keep that as leg squared. The hypotenuse we do know is 25, but the formula says to square it. And remember the minus this time, since we changed the formula because we're solving for a leg. And the leg we do know is 7, 7 centimeters, and we're told to square it. So 25 squared, we may have to use a calculator. 25 times 25 is 625 minus 7 squared. 7 times 7 is 49. 625 minus 49 gets us 576. And now remember, once you take squared both uh, pieces of information, and then here we subtracted them, now the only thing left to do is use the square root property. So we square root both sides. And remember when you take the square root of something you square, 
they cancel and you're left with leg equals the square root of 576. You may have to use a calculator, which is fine. However, it is a perfect square root. You say what times what equals 576. I really can't think of that, so I will use a calculator. And the answer would be 24. 24 times 24 is 576. The square root of 576 is 24. So that missing leg is 24 centimeters.